Uh, can we free up Mar Marianne Stalvey one period a day, preferably before or after lunch, mm -hmm. so we can start making this thing happen? And uh, he said, yeah, we'll do that. So that became one of her assignments. And so we went to Spring Valley, and uh, we had a, an inaugural meeting in the library of Conway High School. Uh, and uh, it was really funny because I told the librarian uh, at the time that uh, you know we really needed, uh, we wanted to have candelabra, white linen, silver, the whole shooting mask, because we're inviting these key people to come in and uh, we want them to be the charter members, okay? And she said, candles in the library? I mean, that doesn't work too well. And we said, well, we promise we'll have fire extinguishers and all that, you know. And, uh, but anyway, we did it. And we had, a, you know, 15 or 20 people came in. And mm -hmm. we said, we want you to be charter members. We're gonna, we want to start a foundation. And uh, we think it's the key to going forward uh, instead of this uh, mania that w America has about you know, cookie dough and magazines and chocolate bars sure. and running around yeah. the community yeah. with your hand out <laughs> over nickels Wrapping and dimes. Wrapping paper and... Yeah, yeah, all this stuff that just, you know, I mean, come on. And uh, so that's how it all began. And, uh, you know, he brought the check back with little interest and that was one of the first contributors. And, and uh, I think Marshall's been on the board and may still be on the board. Uh, phenomenal visionary in this community and, uh, you know, a carver. He carves uh, decoys and ducks and that's birds great. and... But uh, just a great man and, a, and, a, and an outstanding uh, a visionary as well. We just captured that and, and away we go. And now it's a, it's a big thing. Foundation living up to its potential and from, from your point of view? I think it is. Uh, you know, this is the first time they really had an event off the campus. Uh, we're glad to have them here on the, in the new side wheeler, uh, which is, I think, nice. Uh, we've been doing it at the high school. Uh, and, and, you know, one of the things that happened, is so many schools are into booster clubs, and, and I really recommend, you know, don't go to a booster club, go to the foundation route. And even Conway High, when they built a new field house out there, they, Chuck Jordan said, you know what, we need to start an athletic foundation. Well, hello, of course, why wouldn't you? So Conway High, in my opinion, I haven't seen, I've spoken in thousands of schools across the country, I haven't really seen a school with two foundations. But mm -hmm. Conway High has an educational foundation and an athletic foundation, which opens up you know, the opportunity for stock and land and contributions and in sure. services and all these other things that really you don't have an opportunity to get if you just have a booster club. Sure. Plus, lots of foundations across the country will only talk to you if you have a foundation. Sure. So it opens up a whole nother venue for you uh, if you really have foundations. And, you know, these, are, these two foundations, and especially the one here tonight as an educational foundation, they're national models. We've probably started over a thousand of them in the country uh, and have recommended, I've recommended it since we started ours. You got to get one. Come mm -hmm. on. Sure. Uh, had an outstanding California school that said, you know, you've been talking about foundations for 10 years. Every time you're out here working on these uh, yeah, coalition meetings. Yeah, said, yeah, well, I'm, I'm still talking 10 yeah, I'm years not gonna, I'm not going to stop talking about it until y'all get one. And they said, okay, we give up, we're getting one. Well, now they have one. So it's just so critical uh, to do and uh, it's something you ought to have. But uh, I think there's some, there's, you know, some new, new vision in the, in the educational well, the dynamics of, of, of how our area grows, too, I mean, it just makes sense. I mean, you have so many people that come here, um, and this is where they're calling their new home, and uh, they've got some age on them. Uh, they're people, literally, who are looking for folks to leave stuff to. That's right. Yeah, they are. And, and you know, this foundation recognizes outstanding alumni, outstanding mm -hmm. teachers. Uh, which is which is very strong and, and uh, very important that you do that, uh, and it's a great opportunity to, to get together and, and uh, see people and you know inspirational teachers uh, has meant something to all of us sure. in our lives, uh, and they always will. And uh, this is an opportunity to recognize them in a, in a, in a at a nice event uh, where it's very deserved. Well, if someone is there and they're watching the show today, and uh, they may have a question about how they can contribute to the foundation. I mean, do you have people in place or? or there's a, there's a board of directors, yes, sir. Uh, I think if you go to the Conway High School website, mm -hmm. you'll see the educational foundation okay. there, uh, as well. Uh, the the all the no local papers have written about it. The Ori Independent did a nice article on the on the Conway High, High School Educational Foundation, as well as the Athletic Foundation. Um, and uh, you know, I think uh, you know, I think you could Google it more than likely. Uh, and, sure. And, uh, that seems to be the way you get everything today. Just about, uh, yeah. Google it and go. I'm uh, a binger myself. Well, you can do I'll that Yahoo too. once in a while, yeah. but I'm a binger. Okay. Yeah. Well, you can binger. <laughs> you can be a binger or, or, or a Google guy. And, and, uh, but, uh, 
yeah, I mean, people who want to serve on the board, people who want to help with uh, projects, uh, it's, uh, it's just an outstanding, uh, you know, function uh, for the high school. Uh, because, you know, across the nation, no, no, I've been in lots of schools all the time. No, no schools in the country have plenty of money. Yeah. Not in this economy. Mm -mm. And so foundations are even more important than they used to be. And, you know, the real key is, is expedience. You know, the foundation funds really help a lot of teachers, 30 or 40 teachers a year, with, with things they need for their classrooms, things kids mm -hmm. need. Uh, Conway's re-cranking up Renaissance. Uh, uh, Holly Barnes has really been helping with that, and they've come to our coalition meeting, and so they've done already done one Renaissance rally, getting ready to do another one in about two or three weeks. So, you know, all this, this foundation was designed to help in, in student recognition, not only uh, honor roll students, but all students. Uh, it's improvement. You know, we believe there's no difference between excellence and excellent improvement. And we start focusing on all kids mm -hmm. sure. on purpose. Uh, really powerful. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. You, when you, if, if you're at another school and you're thinking of setting up, a, you can tailor that to what you, to your individual situation, couldn't you? As you no question. Uh, all foundations, you know, you take the state of South Carolina, most of them really across the country are very similar. They're all mm -hmm. 501 C3 tax exempt elamasonary, which basically means, you know, the guidelines are the guidelines. Uh, and uh, I remember Ainer High School came in to me when I was at Conway High and they said, you know, we're getting ready to do a booster club for academics. I said, whoa, 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 don't do that. What? Why? Why? What? No, that's not a good idea. No, do a foundation. So the Ainer High School has a foundation because of that. But you can model it on the 501 C3. Mm -hmm. we, we need, every school in the country needs two people to help them, mm -hmm. an attorney, Right. Uh, which basically is your bylaws and that stuff, and your and an accountant. Most of those have been graduates or parents uh, sure. who wanted to help. And uh, the, the parents, uh, I mean, the, uh, the accountant takes it through the IRS channels. Uh, all the public schools are going to qualify. Right. And it just opens up an opportunity for people to, uh, you know, do memorials, uh, to, leave, uh, uh, to leave estates. I mean, you know, like you just said, people are looking for sure. places to... Put some dollars. Uh, you know, I'm on. I was involved on the on the Coastal Educational Foundation at the university uh, for several years before I became a trustee, and uh, that's a powerful deal. Now Conway, now, now the university's got uh, an athletic foundation. So foundations just add sure a, a, a bigger net. Let's call it that. Keeps your money at home. Oh no question. Turns I mean, it right back, back to home. the people who really need it. Yeah. And the more money we can get two teachers in the classroom for what they need, it's phenomenal because that has a direct impact on kids, which is what we need to do. You look out here, quiet day on the river, but it is just a matter of time when the sun comes out. It is great events. Uh, bluegrass on the Waccamaw is one. I mean, yeah. the jazz, the, jazz, the, the city's yeah, really yeah, it's adapted. Coming. That's in yeah. first weekend in May, I think. Yeah. And uh, right after that is the bluegrass. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of great stuff. It's a great river town that's uh, being discovered. Uh, which is which is huge. I invite people to see these things on YouTube. is really good. Life in the Carolinas. I'm definitely going to have YouTube. to check that yeah, out. Take a look at it. It's, it's very well done. Uh, and uh, we're uh, just to plant a seed. We, they were here eight times, so they shot a lot of stuff, you know, to put this thing together. And uh, they want to do about a one hour plus DVD that would be available to people uh, that, that for like ten dollars, and you can get the whole story of all the stuff they shot. Wow. Which would really be strong. The extra footage. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So. What, what what was that phrase you said? Biddle. Biddle mania. Biddle mania. Yeah. Like the extra scene selections there. That's right. Yeah. yeah. There it is. Director's cut. Yeah. Biddle mania. One of that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, good sir. having you with us, my friend. Things my going honor. well. Yes, sir. Doing yeah. well. Great to have you here always. Uh, and uh, this is deja vu for you, I know. It kind of it is it is because uh, you know we got our start here on River Talk here along the banks of this river. You actually hosted uh, River Talk many times when I couldn't make it. I did. Yeah, I got and to even be, uh, before I, you got to do River Talk before I got into it. That's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, we're just kind of telling the story that needs to be told. Larry, thank you so much for all you do. Yes, sir. You're welcome. Thank you. Know, we you. only we just appreciate scratched you. the surface with us, my friend, but appreciate you. Yes, sir. You're thank welcome. you. Hey, come back. We got a little bit more of all American people here on the banks of the Waccamaw River at the new side wheeler. We'll be right back. All American people wrapping up here along the banks of the Waccamaw River at the new side wheeler. You know, fire came and fire went. And you just can't kill a good dream and a good vision, and it is back. And it's awesome for us to come back here to kind of our humble beginnings because we've got so many things that tie into my own personal life here along uh, the old Waccamaw River. 
Again, thanks for joining us. And Larry Biddle, we appreciate you joining us as well. Thank you, Jack.